And now a Target 12 investigator's exclusive gridiron growth. We've learned more student athletes are signing up to play high school football after years of decline. In East Providence, the high school team dropped to 60 people in 2019. I think a lot of the parents got a little bit afraid um, to let their kids play. This year, it spiked to 88 players, the most since at least 2014. Target 12 investigator Tolly Taylor joins us now from East Providence with his findings. Tolly? When we reported on this in 2019, some student athletes were substituting Friday night lights for flag football. This year, high schoolers seem to be snapping on their helmets once again. As East Providence High School's assistant principal and a team coach from 2005 to 2012, Shane Messier has witnessed the peaks and valleys of the football program firsthand. 2011, 2013, the concussion became a huge thing. Um, I know there was like Junior Seau passed away, Aaron Hernandez. We saw the numbers right from about that date start to dip down. But Messier says the football of a decade ago is different than the one today. It's all like the safety things with the helmets and all the protocols with if someone gets injured, what we have to do. Um, I think it brought a little bit more confidence back into the sport. Messier has watched these changes take place even as he took on a new role, a parent to a player, volunteering with the team when his son started playing last year. What made you comfortable with your son playing and with taking up coaching again? When he started to play, I, I didn't have any concerns because um, I do, I love the game. If, if he does get injured, we know how to deal with it now. Messier's not alone. Target 12 asked the largest school districts across Rhode Island about participation numbers in their football programs. Over the last five years, East Providence, Providence, Pawtucket, Cumberland, and West Warwick are at or near record highs. While down from five years ago, Cranston is on the upswing again. Both Warwick and Woonsocket saw a slight decrease in their rosters. In practices 22 years ago, how much of it was full contact versus... Oh, now? all of it. All of it was full contact back then. Jason DeLawrence has coached football for 22 years, and he's been the head coach at Tolman and Pawtucket since 2015. Now it's more scripted. You know, we have maybe a 10-minute live period, and that's it, and then everything is just technique. Tolman's football program hit rock bottom with 30 players in 2017 and 2019. This fall, it jumped to 60. DeLawrence, or Coach D to his players, says he now hosts a preseason meeting with parents, walking them through how practices work. Parents are more than welcome to come watch practice. A lot of my younger freshman parents do in the beginning, do come out and watch. At Central High School in Providence, head coach Mike Washington has seen the program go from 40 players in 2017 to 80 this fall. Like Coach D, he says the game has changed. It's very different than how they were before. Um, we're almost never in full pads. But Washington says parents and players need to understand it's a game that comes with risk. I think if you play, you run the risk. Just like if you drive a car, you run the risk. You can try your best in practice, but the most collision is going to happen in the game, and that stuff you can't control. Rub some dirt on it, walk it off. We've all heard the cliches for toughness. But coming up at 6, how things have changed when a student athlete does suffer an injury. With the Target 12 investigators, I'm Tolly Taylor, 12 News.